What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Monday, March 11th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up today's news. First off, I want to apologize for last week. For some reason, YouTube demonetized my channel, said that I was reusing content, and they needed a whole explanation about how I made content and why I made it. So I took off the week just to make sure that everything was right to get back to this week and get everything correct. Thankfully, last night, an email came through that said that we're monetized again. So, you know, thumbs up. Thanks to everybody that helped out with that. There are rumors brewing around the web this weekend of a new Persona game. The rumor is stating that Persona 6 is set to release 2025 and will have DLC that adds new characters. The rumors also state that the game is about 95% finished and the DLC might not release the same year, but is also in the works at the same time. The release window is set to be somewhere in the first half of 2025. As all previous titles, we are sure to have a big title on our hand when this releases. The director for Helldivers 2 is asking for some advice. While the game is one of the most popular games this year, players of the games have not been the best at beating the best soldiers. The director wants to know how the community as a whole can stop the kicking out of other players. The issue mainly happens because players that use the meta layouts don't like playing with players that don't use them and they get booted back up to space. Maybe these games are fun, and fun is a wide spectrum that we can't always cover. Some play to be the best of the best, others play just to relax and let us off steam. All I know is that in a community of video games, respect should be the utmost thing shown while playing with others. One of the biggest money makers for video games in the last 10 years has been a live service game. For you that don't know, it's a service you pay for every season to get a season pass and get more rewards in the game. This is always on multiplayer games, and that can make or break a video game. Hogwarts Legacy came out last year and it was one of the biggest releases. The fans of the games heard rumors about a potential multiplayer sequel with a live service and they are not happy about this. In fact, they are so upset that they decided to start a petition so that Warner Brothers Studios doesn't make the game multiplayer. There are a lot of interesting ways the game could go if they proceed this way, but the game itself already has a good system and they could make it better and more interesting. Let's hope that in the end, we get a game that's as great as the first one. The great Yoshi P, who directed one of the most, if not the most successful, MMORPG has stated that he wants to make one more hit before he goes and steps away from the video game industry. Final Fantasy XIV is one of the biggest games to date and it keeps on growing, and with all the work being done to the next expansion, Yoshi P is still looking for the final push in his career. At the end of the day, he just wants to push the limits of his imagination and make something great before he passes on the baton to the next generation. When I last spoke about the upcoming Fallout TV series on Amazon Prime, I said that the director felt as if the show was Fallout 5. The director of the show and the leader of the Fallout series games felt great about the show and how it connected to the Fallout universe. The show had such a great storyline in it that Todd Howard had to step in and veto some of the ideas because those were ideas going into Fallout 5. The creative team leads behind the show already know what's happening in Fallout 5, but they aren't sharing any details on it. Let's see if the TV show and the games connect in some way when the show is released next month. And finally, over the weekend, the mistake was made by Sony and the demo was released for Stellar Blade. When this happened, players ran to their phones and PlayStations to download the demo and check out Stellar Blade. Some players got to experience it and have fun with it, while others were too late because Sony had already taken it down within the first few hours. The ones that got to download the game were able to play it for a little while. But since it was a digital download, Sony came down on the ones that did and blocked the game from being accessed from their accounts. Because of this, many players are upset about it. It shows us that they can do whatever they want when it comes to digitally bought or downloaded content. Let's hope it's just a one-time thing and it's not as grim as some viewers are making it to be. Now with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.